Cade Mila Folche, good day cool on Twitter. A charming old world town surrounded by miles of unspoiled countryside. A town steeped in both Gaelic and Gaelic history. Originally a French Huguenot town, situated on the second longest waterway in Ireland, the River Barrow. We are strategically located in the heart of Ireland on the borders of counties Leash and Offaly, less than one hour southwest of Dublin City and Dublin International Airport, and only two hours from Shannon International Airport. Port Arrington is also a major rail hub connecting Dublin, Athlone, Galway, Limerick, Cork, and only 10 minutes from the M7 motorway, the country's major east to west transport corridor. With this proximity to rail lines, motorways, seaports and airports, companies such as Polar Ice, Ireland's sole dedicated dry ice company, Fastway Couriers, a regional franchisee award-winning logistics service, the giant steel construction company SIAC, and the nationally recognised flower producers Odlums, who have been operating successfully for over 160 years, have all strategically positioned themselves in this prominent town. There are also many active enterprise units, two major industrial sites with sizable lots available for instant bespoke further development. The town is particularly noted for its educational achievements, both sporting and academic, at primary and secondary levels. Port Arlington is the home of a thriving third level educational centre. Leash Third Level works in partnership with a number of universities and educational institutes throughout Ireland to provide quality third level undergraduate and postgraduate courses to both adult and continuing education students on a part time basis. Boasting a wide range of courses from certificates and diplomas to BA degrees, they tailor courses by demand. Prosperous local commercial growers provide organic vegetables, beef and dairy, both domestically and internationally. Our peatland, Cutaway Bog, is ideal for the growing of blueberries and Dairy Villa blueberry producers farm out their produce to local manufacturers for organic jam making and other products such as relishes and healthy tonics. Gorman's Mushroom Farm, a large distributor in both England and Ireland. The Equi People Work Experience Programme provides a cultural, educational and personal development experience for young Europeans from diverse agricultural backgrounds. They provide a high degree of personal support, allowing the students to grow and develop during their time in Ireland. Whatever your preferences, there are many restaurant opportunities to indulge all tastes, from Thai and Indian to Chinese and Italian, with most pubs serving traditional Irish food in a warm, cosy atmosphere. For fine dining, there is Soleron's Italian restaurant and steakhouse, Greens and the exquisite dining experience at the Arlington in the award-winning five-star Heritage Hotel. Enjoy relaxing mornings and afternoons in the local coffee shops. Remaining true to our heritage, the annual Festival Francais de Port Arrington attracts thousands of visitors to the town every July. The St. Patrick's Day Parade is another major attraction. Port Arrington has a strong active sporting community with people partaking in a wide range of indoor and outdoor activities such as equestrianism, archery, kayaking, mountain biking, swimming, 
boxing, GAA, rugby, soccer, fitness classes and golf. Port Arrington Golf Club, founded in 1908 as part of the Warburton Domain, is a beautiful 18-hole parkland course by the River Barrow. Surrounded by magnificent woodlands, it is a designated wildlife sanctuary. There is also the Kilinard Heritage Golf Club, a 72-par championship golf course designed by Seve Ballesteros and Jeff Howes. Nature lovers and walking enthusiasts can enjoy breathtaking natural forestry parks, lakes and expansive peatlands. Intrinsic to our identity is the preservation of our historical houses, castles and churches. Lee Castle, built by William de Vesey in 1260. Woodbrook House, where Jonathan Swift, author of Gulliver's Travels, spent time in 1726. The magnificent 18th century James Gandon designed, Emo Court, where the Earl of Arlington once lived. Mount St Anne's, originally Mount Henry, was built in 1820 by Edward Skeffington Smith. St Paul's French Huguenot Church, founded in 1696. Lee Church, where the notorious landlord Jack Adair lies buried. In most recent years, Port Tarrington has become a cultural and artistic hub of creativity. The town has major associations with award-winning films, His and Hers, The Painter Upstairs and The Sandyman Man. Artistically, there are a number of painters, photographers and craftspeople at work in the town. We have renowned authors, traditional Irish musicians, storytellers, comedians and poets. A community that responds to people's needs, creating an environment of prosperity. To further economic, social and environmental success in the town, Ports Vision 2020 was created by Port Arlington Community Development Association. Residents and community groups working together and reaping the rewards of strong town community spirit. New state-of-the-art health services executive building. Gary Hinch Eco Park, which is now in pre-planning stage, is a 500 million euro project for a water-based eco park as well as ensuring sustainability of water supply well into this century, it is planned to design it in such a way as to incorporate eco-park facilities, including water-based sports, as a key feature. Port Arlington, a resilient, progressive town, creating opportunities and ensuring long-term sustainability far into the future. <laughs>